Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Stereotype. Sitting next to the Rev, we're about to bring you a dual com with some Berlin Wall headquarters. Yes, we are. We are definitely bringing you that. You have anything else you'd like to add? Oh, <laughs> uh, we have a new layout, sort of. Bad words in the bottom. Yeah, it's all right. We, for some reason, I don't know why, but if you're paying attention to the audio in the game. Please don't, because every once in a while they go off, and I tried to make the two videos match as best as I could, but doing so somehow screws the audio up, even though they're both on the same track. Don't ask me. Get new poop. Yeah, fuck you. Listen, I was about to beast on that whole team. No one was going to shoot me except for the stupid noob tuber. So what are we going to cover in this commentary? I was thinking maybe strategy for people that don't really play with other people, maybe they would need to figure out what we do best on certain map types like this one. What strategy is so boring? You're boring, speak louder. I'm already yawning. I'm yawning at you. Mm. Oh, ha ha ha, hardy har har. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so I guess I'll just speak on strategy really quickly. In this video, you're going to see the Rev run around a lot, basically trying to flank them, while I position myself close enough to the headquarters so that I can flank from the headquarters while he just rushes around the back and kills them as they spawn. Yeah, because I like to run around and shoot you with a submachine gun. It's fun. That, and he's probably one of the only people running around with Marathon Pro. Marathon Pro and Lightweight Pro. Yeah, see, see what I mean? I mean, if you're a hardcore Black Ops dude, you got those, but most noobs don't. Get on my level. Oh, I'm on your level. No, you're not. Okay, just watch all those counters and those airdrops come flying in. Alright, I'm still waiting on that um rebuttal with your nuke. You said you wanted to get a nuke to top my nuke. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, but I played Modern Warfare 2 that day and that was it. I haven't even touched it yet. I like that guy. He just runs out and gets shot. Yeah, people are so smart, you know. They do know exactly what they're doing. What's... I think the best part of this gameplay is that... We held them to zero. Did we now? Oh yeah. It's absolutely... I mean, if you look at the final score, I think the best dude on their team was like 9 and 32 or something. Is this the one where we were all jumping at the end, or was that another one that would come soon? Uh, I believe... Well, I ran into a building where a bunch of dudes were capping, and they started to jump, and I kind of did a 360, and then I ran out of the room so that I could cap one point and didn't look like a complete idiot. Yeah, need to cap some headquarters. I was just playing with Shenron and Rage, and I capped seven of the eight headquarters in the game. I don't see. I don't like to put myself in harm's way. I'd rather, I'd rather have someone like you get right up on that while I'm killing all these dudes as they're coming through. I mean, you're capping a headquarter right now, and I'm basically down the road making sure no one even gets close. Yeah, and that's normally how I play, but every once in a while I will try and cap some headquarters for some XP. Even though I don't need it, because I can proceed if I wanted to. I think we should. No, I don't think we should. <laughs> I, I don't think so at all. <laughs> no, I hate this game. I'm not prestiging. Alright, so I was thinking maybe we could talk about dreams. Because today we were in Shaw's buying our cat some food because she was out of food and we were like, hey, maybe we should feed her. I also got her some nom nom goodies, some, oh, some nom, treats. Nom, nom, nom. I bought her some treats. Some some tasty treats? Oh yeah, they're, they're beef flavored. She likes the beef. I started to give them to her. She wouldn't leave me alone. Oh, she even came in here after looking for more. <coughs> we keep looking. Don't wake her up because she's sleeping in the closet. Please just let her <laughs> Every time we made a noise, we looked at the closet like, don't wake up, don't wake up. Oh, please. Just stay there. Sleep. I don't want to hear your whining. All she does is whine. Alright, so standing in line at Shaw's, I was telling you about this movie I saw one time called Waking Life, where it basically gives you a mind fuck, but while it mind fucks you, <laughs> While it mind fucks you, it basically tells you how to figure out if you're in a dream. And I still don't know how I died from that Valkyrie. 
Well, yeah, and I want to watch this movie because I want to learn how to control my dreams. Because a lot of my dreams could have went different ways and they would have been a lot better. Alright, so for those that aren't going to watch Waking Life or don't want to YouTube it, because I'm sure it's on YouTube, it's kind of like a Scanner Darkly, so it's like cartoonish, but there's no real actors in it. But basically one of the things is... All your your dream is always light, like even though it's nighttime. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's always it's always bright, so you can see even though it's dark out. Exactly. So one of the things was if you ever realize you're in a dream, try to fuck with the lights, turn the switches on and off, see if that changes. Because once you realize you're in a dream, you can make it anything. But that's the problem. When I'm in a dream and I I know I'm in a dream, it's like. I don't have the willpower over myself in the dream to go fuck with the light switch. Like, I can't, like, whatever my got, whatever my body is doing in the dream is what it's doing. I can't control it to make it go find the light switch and be like, no, this don't work. Alright, so here's step number two. Blink. Or try to close your eyes. I've done that in nightmares. I've had a nightmare and I've just been like, close eyes and then I'll wake up and then I'll go into a completely different dream. But see, you're doing that because you're in a nightmare and you don't want to be in the nightmare anymore. I'm talking, one time I remember I was on a school bus with some people and I was just like, hey, I can switch my dream, watch this. I closed my eyes, next thing I knew, I was riding Aladdin's carpet down my stairs in my old house. What? That sounds boss. Yeah, I went downstairs, I made some food while sitting Indian style on Aladdin's carpet. And then when I was done with the food, I closed my eyes again, opened it back up, and I was hiding behind our old grandmother's chair, hiding from something. I don't know what it was, because it was a dream, and I guess it was already halfway through, but I was hiding from something. That's weird how you, like, jump into a dream that's taking place, even though you haven't been in it. Well, it's just all your subconscious. I'm, I was probably hiding from, like, a test or something, but you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's like, hey, I'm watching Two and a Half Men on FX, and hey, look, Cat in the Hat's on. You turn the Cat in the Hat, and you're already halfway through. You don't know what's going on. You make a very valid point there, sir. <laughs> a very valid point indeed. I don't like it. Duh, winning. <laughs> Shut up with that. Uh, I was going to give you more points to dreaming, but it's way funner if we just talk about how random our dreams are. Like, the other night, I was, I was, I was on an island, right? So... Freddy and Jason somehow merged to create Frayson, and he was chasing me and my boy Nick Hotailing, who I went to the school with, right? So he's chasing us, but Nick keeps switching between my girlfriend and himself. So me and Nick would get in trouble with Frayson, and he'd be trying to kill us, and then I would have to save my girlfriend, right? How fucked is that? Frayson, what the hell's wrong with you? Dude, that's what we called him, Freddy and Jason. It was, it was Freddy's face with Jason's body and the fucking machete and a hand with cleavers. Oh, that's just not fun. That's just not fun. So you know what we did? We found our way to this Minecraft-looking cliff on the world, and we hopped off, and we swam, and we swam to islands, but there were clouds. You must have been on acid. <laughs> and these... <laughs> these island clouds let me finish these island clouds were like they were like down comforters so we could form them and we basically formed them so that he couldn't see no but what you basically really if you think about it you really just jumped off into the sky because the islands weren't clouds you were literally in the sky swimming in, in the sky because the sky's blue like what you know but they were no I don't think so I think I was really at water because he started to swim after us. Maybe he, maybe he knows how to fly. Maybe, maybe. How about this, YouTubers? What about the times when you dream and you dream the same place over and over again? Do you mean like different nights, same dream? I mean, yeah. But we have to cut this short so in our next Google call we'll explain it more. I'm stereotype. I'm the rep. I guess we'll see you guys later. Look for Dream Part 2. Deuces. Peace.